Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 18th of January 2020. Um, the time is 09.38 hours and it's rather icy out. I'll come back to that one. Anyway, I've realised this is the first Saturday Wrap of 2020. I think that's mainly because, well, last week I was away. I was away on MBO1 going back to Bristol. I usually try to get away um, in the first week of January, mainly because of CES, which used to be the Consumer Electronics Show held in Las Vegas, but now it's just CES. Now I can't get to Las Vegas um, due to being impecunious, so I go somewhere else. And this time it was Bristol. I went to Bristol just before Christmas, and the price of the Ibis where I stayed for the same amount of nights was roughly half in January. I need to remember that. Although it was a great time um, before Christmas. Anyway, one of the things I noticed is last year, outside the Knights Templar, just outside Temple Mead Station, there was a huge Christmas tree which stayed there well into the new year. This year, no sign of any Christmas tree at all. I don't know if it means times are hard or just they couldn't be bothered or there was just vandalism, but I missed it. Anyway, my wrap. Um, while I was away, um, I spent quite some considerable time in the commercial rooms, which is a Weatherspoons, opens at 8 o'clock, bar opens at 9 o'clock. And probably of all the Weatherspoons in Bristol, although I've not been to them all, but I believe it's correct, they have the best choice of beer. They certainly do a lot of keg craft as well. Although while I was there, on two occasions there were some really abusive customers. Um, I don't want to say it was drugs, but I think they were involved and the staff, the staff were well trained and handled them well, but it's... Uh, and this was, this was before 11 o'clock in the morning. This is not what you want. And in more and more weather spoons nowadays, you see staff with cameras round their necks. I think this is all really disappointing. I like to go to a pub. I like to go to a pub early because it's quiet and you can get on with things. But these people, staff, work there. They should have the right to go to work and not be abused and not have idiots, well, abusing them and threatening them. Luckily, there was no violence, but it's a sad indictment of this country at the moment. And another thing. Where do you stand on tables? One side of the room, normal tables, uh, four chairs around them, so you can get your legs under them. Other side of the room, high tables. Now, I've been on high tables, but I, I just get the feeling that you're too high up, and if you want to move your chair, it's difficult because your feet aren't on the ground, and if you should tip anything over, that's going to smash, and... Generally speaking, high tables don't seem to be as big as low tables. So that's my thing for 2020. Avoid high tables if you can. Not always the case, though. Um, and another thing, and here's my tech review of the year, and I'm using it at the moment. Um, I do a daily wrap and a Saturday wrap and whatever, and sometimes my face is a bit murky because of the light ping. I bought two... Um, LED lamps. They're only small. They can fit on the side of tripods. They have adjustable brightness. As I said, I'm using one at the moment. And I had them both for about 16 quid off Amazon. They take AA batteries and they're great. And I like them a lot. And that was probably the best thing that I had over Christmas. So I've already mentioned today is icy. Up until now, we've had weather warning after weather warning after weather warning. Storm Brendan. Notice in the last year that the Met Office doesn't name storms anymore and we just take the Irish Met Office's names. Well, I know most of the storms come off the Atlantic, but why is that? Although, having said that, Storm Brendan, very Irish, and the weather, wet and windy. Although, in a lot of cases, I think we got off with it quite well. We've got high-pressure weather for the next couple of days, so... Um, it's a good job I've got lots of de-icing fluid and two hot water bottles for the dash. My car insurance. 
car insurance was due well actually it's due on the 1st of february um i'm with lv who i found to be really very good um especially when uh, that gentleman hit me from the rear while i was stopped waiting to enter the roundabout at the bottom of nangaro hill however um 312 against 330 something anyway here's my tip always ring them up tell them that you were pleased with the service if you weren't pleased with the service anyway um just don't renew it however went through the whole thing they knocked off 20 quid for me all you have to do is ask don't just renew and don't just look for someone else if you're happy with what you got and you think uh, almost ring them up ask them they don't want to lose you as a customer mm, but they really know you're on inertia and you're just renewing worked for me anyway um and the week ahead well yes they i had a new combi boiler arrive it's being installed in the week ahead um wednesday and thursday it's a day and a half so probably wednesday night i'm going to be without heating <laughs> and of course high pressure weather which means very cold overnights and things like that um however more efficient and I will be paying less in maintenance. First year will be nothing at all. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm just not looking forward to the installation. But there you go. What can you do? And that is the beginning to 2020. Thank you for watching. And um, if you want to say anything, there's plenty of feedback. Or even do a video feedback. Bye-bye.